when you look around the World War I trenches here at the Paddy Jim Stuff at the Cavan County Museum, it's hard to believe that it's only two months ago since the whole work started. There has been incredible work done in a very short period of time to bring what we have here today, reproductions of World War I trenches. Uh, probably the biggest, yes, definitely the biggest in Ireland, if not in England as well. Um, the 350 metres long, there's over 6,000 sandbags in, included in them. Uh, they're as authentic as possible. Our aim in doing this work and putting together these trenches is to commemorate in some way the soldiers who fought and those who lost their lives in World War I. It's a very sombre day today in many ways because today we celebrate the 100 years of when Britain declared war. And we remember all the Irish men and women who were part of World War I. So by having this trench experience here at the Cavan County Museum, we hope we will be able to give visitors some understanding and some awareness of what it was like for those men and women involved in World War I. The trenches in particular were extremely difficult places. They were horrific. They were just, I don't think we can even imagine. But I hope by what we've done we can some way help people to see. As you know, they were rat infested, they were wet, soldiers suffer from trench foot, uh, the sound of bombs going off constantly, just, just horrific. So we will now be able to offer our visitors to the museum, especially young people who come here on education programs, the opportunity to learn about World War I, what life was like. And it didn't matter what your religious or political background was, when you were in the trenches you were all war. It was a difficult time. And we hope at the Calvin County Museum we can in some way pay respect to that time and pay respect and interpret why the trenches and why the lovely exhibition we have within the museum building itself somewhat what it was like a hundred years ago for those men and women fighting in World War I. The First World War saw the use of the first weapon of mass destruction, which was poison gas. And every soldier had been, would, from 1915 on, would have been issued with a gas mask. Um, initially, it was simply a hood. We have some of them inside, and then it became the more familiar gas mask. But one of the most frightening things for soldiers was the use of gas. And one thing that they didn't want to hear was this sound. As soon as, as soon as the gas bell sounded, the advice, and you'll see it on some of the standing orders as you go around them, the advice was that you were to stay still. And in a sort of a patronizing way, the advice that officers were supposed to give to, to men was that gas was nothing to fear. Um, now, uh, chlorine gas, mustard gas, mustard gas in particular was a nasty gas because it took <coughs> maybe five weeks to kill you. It could be gas, survive for five weeks, slowly losing the ability to breathe um, if you've been exposed to mustard gas. 